Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful week and having a good time at home. In today's video, I want to talk about some of the mistakes every one of us makes when we go to the track or we go practicing or we're just trying to become better racers. I think I've been making these for a long time and nowadays when I became a professional RC driver, I've learned my lessons from the previous years because I've been driving for almost 13 years now. So I just want to share these tips with you guys and the mistakes I've made so maybe you can also sympathize with these and become a better RC driver by not making these mistakes anymore so I will give you guys a few tips so make sure you stick around until the end to learn all of these to help you win more races in your RC racing career so tune in and enjoy Alright, so tip number one, make sure you're always patient, the results will come with time, they cannot just, you know, like appear like suddenly, of course if you have the, like, born in talent, then maybe it will come faster for, for one person, it might come in a couple of years, for the other, it might come in like 10 years, I've been racing for 13 years, and I still haven't achieved the ultimate goal in RC, but I know I'm close, so I'll continue working on it and continue improving myself. So I think you just need to be really patient. And this this patience will definitely give you the results. You will be able to practice more, you have the motivation to improve yourself even more. So I think patience is probably one of the biggest things you need to have to become a better RC driver. And this also is important in other life aspects, in other sports. So I think to be patient is very important. Another very important aspect is learning from your mistakes. Remember to always take something out of a really bad result. For example, I've, I've been having some bad results throughout my career. It's it's a part of everyone's career. Every, you cannot win every race. And then learning from those mistakes that you made at that bad race is really important because then you'll be stronger. The bad result will affect you in a good way so we can achieve the better results in the next race. Remember, always when you want to win, first you need to learn how to lose, then you can win more races. That's the tip number two. For the tip number three, we're back in the studio. So make sure you practice as much as you can. This is a very important thing in, a, in the RC industry and anything that you do. Remember, practice makes perfect. And uh, this this is for everything you do in life. Uh, when if you don't practice something, you'll never succeed in it. Of course, when someone has a bit of talent, this helps become a better RC driver faster. But even though when someone has an amazing talent and he doesn't do the practice, he doesn't put the work in, he will never achieve something amazing. So practice and the time spent at the track is absolutely everything. Me myself, I've been racing for a long time. I would go to many many races with my dad, make sure we have the time on the track when we put our work in at the track. My dad works with the setup, I'm working on my driving. So make sure you practice as much as you can. Tip number four, take practice seriously. When you go to a track, of course you can have some fun with your friends, you can have some cool battles with them, but this will not necessarily make you a better driver. When I used to practice when I was younger, my dad would write down all my lap times, he would record my runs and then after we came back home we would watch the video, see where I'm making the mistakes. He would he would video almost every single race we went to when I was younger with a camera standing somewhere in the stands or next to the track, making sure he gets every bit of my run so we can pick out my mistakes and I can learn from them in the future races and this also helps quite a lot to see the mistakes you do and this is the same aspects in life you need to see your mistakes so you can learn from them and improve yourself so I think this is a very important thing to do just take your practice seriously day by day try to improve yourself see your lap time see where you're making the mistakes practice these sections of the track where you're making the mistakes or you're losing the most time and this will make you a better driver as well so now we're back outside, I had to go for a walk around my garden, so I come up with more tips. So tip number five, if I'm not mistaken, is to 
just spend your time preparing for the race. I think this is really important. Luckily, I had my dad by my side and he was able to help me with that and, and prepare my cars for every race we went to. But this is really important. You need to spend the time before the race for preparation so everything is ready for you to win the race. And in this way, you can not worry about the technical side of things. You don't need to worry about the car too much. If you are prepared for the race, you can spend more time on your driving during the race apart from trying to work out your setup or repair your car. So the preparation is key before every race. Alright, so I hope the lightning is alright. We have a beautiful weather here in Poland, beautiful sun. So tip number six now, is many of them, is rather for younger uh, guys and are at school so you're all in the same situation as I was and I am, I'm still in high school and it's really difficult to combine our hobby, our passion and school which is obligatory for all of us so you need to remember that school is priority at the beginning first you need to finish school then I would suggest go to a university and then be a professional driver I was very lucky and I'm very grateful for that that I'm able to be a professional driver already now but I still have my priorities which is school for now and hopefully I will be able to finish it soon because of the virus outbreak everything has been postponed so this is very important to to concentrate on school I know you want to be a better RC driver as fast as you can so just try to to combine both of these things but remember that school is a priority and you cannot forget about that and after that comes racing Racing is second in the in the list. Just spend as much time as you can, but remember, school is very important. So you need to keep your priorities at the right place, and then with time you can also become a better AC driver. All right. So tip number seven will be for you guys to set your goals high, but not too high. I've been setting my goals recently, of course, and uh, trying to do the best I can at every race. Do not set your goals like I want to win this race, I want to be A main, I want to be B main. Set your goals to just give your best, to do the best to your ability. Do not set your goals like a result, like A main, B main or, or I want to win this race, I want to podium. Your goal should be for a particular race to give your best and after that if if you know that you have given your best, you'll be happy. It doesn't matter the outcome of the event. Let's say I go to a race in EOS round 2 this season and my goal is to win that race and I come second. I'll be extremely disappointed because I didn't achieve my goal. But I, I know I have given my best and the second place at that big event is really good. It's an amazing achievement as well. So if you set your goals, just give your best and then even though the outcome and the result might not be as good as you would like to, you know that you have given your best, so you are positive and you have the positive energy coming out of that race and you can learn from the mistakes you've made at this event so you can prove your result at the next one, which I think has helped me quite a lot and the mental side of things is really important in our sport as well and I've been trying to learn that uh, throughout the recent years and I think recently I've been on my game because of the mental preparation I am I am doing before each race. All right, so tip number eight, as the sun sl slowly goes down, I think just enjoy yourself, you know? It is the most important thing at every aspect in life we do. If we enjoy something, then we do it better. We are better at this thing, so. It is very important to just go to the track and have your goal to just enjoy yourself and do the best you can. Uh, this is a passion for most of us and this is a hobby for me as well. Even though I'm a professional now, I think I just do it because I love it and I've been doing it for such a long time and I still love doing it. And every time I go to a race, I'm really excited because I know I'll have a great time with my friends, with the team, get to know other people, maybe put a smile on someone's face and you know winning the race is, is just the uh, just the icing on the cake you know, how, how you say it in the proper English way and uh, 
it is very important just enjoy yourself when you go to the track this is the the number one thing I, I do so I wanted to leave it as the last tip for you guys so this is the most important thing probably you've heard it many times already but I really want to underline this tip just enjoy yourself and this is a really important thing as the motorbike disrupts my video um, maybe we can wait a little bit All right, so just enjoy yourself guys and I hope you enjoyed yourself watching this video I've been working on the content and trying to give you the best quality of videos got myself a new gear so hopefully you'll enjoy this guys and the future videos will be even better I hope you guys enjoyed again leave a like if you did comment if you have any questions and uh, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos that I'll be posting in the near future and as I'm working quite a lot right now on, on this YouTube thing try to get some information to you guys to help you improve your RC driving skills so for now stay safe and see you next time bye bye